what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel and today we have the second West Ham Wednesday episode 2 where every Wednesday I will bring you a talk video where I talk about the main news in West Ham so yeah if you do go in to enjoy this video make sure you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new thank you for the support lately it has been absolutely absolutely amazing to the new subscribers to the viewers getting 600 and 300 views in my last two videos is incredible so yeah, that's that bit done. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoy the video. So yeah, this is the West Ham official YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be previewing our first game of the season against Newcastle at home at the London Stadium. And then I'm going to be talking about Brady and Moyes' bust-up, um, about the board and the manager, and things like that. So yeah, let's get straight into previewing West Ham United versus Newcastle. So... My prediction for today, not today's game, for September the 12th game is I think I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Um, I don't think we're going to have enough power to get past them. Obviously, I think Creswell is going to tear St. Maximan. No, <laughs> God. Um, St. Maximan is going to tear Creswell apart, I think, personally. Um, I think with his pace, and obviously Creswell hasn't got any pace at all. Um, so that's going to be a, um, hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. Um, obviously, he's got no pace. And St. Maximan, as we all know, is a brilliant player. Um, and just as I was writing my notes for today's video, um, I saw that Callum Wilson has signed, which I thought, just before this happened, I thought, well, they haven't really got a recognised striker. They got Joe Linton, but, yeah. And then, just as that happened, Callum Wilson signed, who always scores against West Ham. So that's not great. Um, so yeah, they've now got a recognised striker and hopefully we can keep him at bay. Um, hopefully Diop can up his game because Ogbonna cannot do it all on his own. Um, Og Ogbonna was my player hammer of the year last year. He didn't get it. I think Rice got it. Um, and in my opinion, he should have got it. Um, and obviously he can't do the defence on his own. Diop, is, he always makes mistakes and he needs to just buck his ideas up. Um, and he needs to stop making these mistakes. Just help out Ogbonna a bit. Because Ogbonna is doing amazing. And he just needs to help out a bit. And not do all these mistakes that he's currently doing. So um, on the subject of strikers a minute ago. Um, I'm going to be talking about Sebastian Haller. Where um, in pre-season um, he has been very very good. Um, he's got a hat-trick and a couple more goals. Uh, which is... Good to see because last season, as you know, um, he, he he wasn't at his best as he was at Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, he started well, but just yeah, it just went downhill from there. Um, yeah, so hopefully he can bring his um, form from pre-season into the Premier League because Antonio, and again, this is like a defence. Antonio can't do all of the work on his own. He needs someone there to just. Because he's not a recognised striker. He's not our recognised striker. Haller is our recognised striker. And he needs to step up and play well to be able to do that. Um, and Antonio can, his um, weight can just gradually come off of his shoulders a bit more. Um, obviously he was playing amazing with that. I think it was four or five goals against Norwich, which was amazing. But yeah, so hopefully that can happen. Um, and... As I said, um, St. Maximan, um, I, I think, is going to tear Creswell apart with, this is basically pace versus no pace. Um, Creswell's, um, lots of people are slating Creswell. I agree with them. Uh, no fullback has been signed. West Ham fans have been pleading for a fullback to be signed. We have not signed a fullback. Um, I don't know how many days it is the Premier League season. It's the ninth day, three days Saturday, and we're not going to sign a fullback and get them playing by Saturday. It's just atrocious from the board. We needed a fullback. Surely they see if they are foot, if they know anything about football, they could see that we needed to buy a fullback. And what did they do? They've done nothing. And they've sold our best player. Dean Garner, not our best player, but our best up-and-coming player, Dean Garner. Link to that video is in the description if you haven't watched that already. That was quite a good video to film because I just let everything go. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, no fullback signed Creswell. Maybe Johnson could play in that position just for a bit of pace to hopefully just stand a chance against St. Maximan. 
um, but he did have a bad game against Bournemouth um, and he got taken off on about the half hour mark which is a bit harsh I do say that but that's what happened that is in history and hopefully the board are in history very soon we've got a takeover that's kind of happening kind of not um, and yeah everybody is pleading that this happens that the board are gone everybody just wants the board gone that's the bottom line so yeah that's enough talking about that and now it's on to another part of the board where um, apparently there's rumours going around in the Telegraph and things that um, David Moyes and Karen Brady have had a little argument. They've had a bust up, as it has been put, um, and obviously that's not good. And there's rumours saying that he could resign, like Saturday or like after the game or very, like, into the Premier League season, like being one of the first managers to resign. Um, so that's not promising that they've had a bust up um, yeah so that's not very good um, so that's pretty much it for today's video um, if you did enjoy today's video give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to plenty of videos are linked in the description if you are new um, to watch some of my favourite videos there's three linked in the description down below so yeah smash the like subscribe to the channel if you want to and let's hope we can get a 1-1 draw I think from me, I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw, so Maximan's going to get the goal for them, and I think, let's go Jared Bowen, that's back, that's back Bowen, um, to score our goal. So yeah, hopefully it's a bit more optimistic than that, I will see you in, possibly, when, um, possibly at the weekend to do a review, or something like that. So yeah, I will see you next time, you guys have been amazing, and there's only one thing left to say, as West Ham Fan TV put it. Come on, you irons.